Hello everyone, great to be with you from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And I think we can call this decision day, because the fans know full well they could clinch promotion on what is the last day of the season. It is Chelsea facing Barcelona. Well, what a climax to the season this promises to be, Derek. Just the point required, that'll be enough to see them up. It's just how they handle the pressure now. Can they hold their nerve and get this over the line? Can't wait for this one. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Christian Pulisic starts with Raheem Sterling out wide. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And beyond the last defender, offside. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who is going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Zakaria has given it straight to the opposition. Kai Havertz. Conte. And he read it well defensively. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Zakaria. Oh, managing to beat him. Gabby. Now options are plenty, but nothing comes of it. Obama Yang. Pulisic. On the ball, Zakaria. And Sterling has it. And now Havertz. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Must take the lead here. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? A Chelsea corner. And the short option preferred. Conte. And diving to thwart him. Short corner taken. Conte. Might jump in front. It's still alive. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Crossing possibilities. And the danger still on. Sterling. Very quick thinking there. He has teammates around him. Obama Yang, and the flag was up in good time, it's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Well, he could run onto it here. In it goes! And that might be the goal that makes certain of promotion! Well, that's the cushion they wanted. Surely they can't lose from here. Well, as the replay shows, it all started with that perfectly weighted ball over the top of the back line. And what about the finish? With such control and technique, that could have gone anywhere, but not with his skill. It's a great goal. N'Golo Conte. How can he take them on and beat them? James. They look as though they want to make this move count. Sterling. A delivery towards the back post. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Oh, nice ball. And a good-looking ball. And he's apparently veered into an offside position, Stuart. Well, that's tight, really tight. 
but he was just too anxious to make his run. He was in, though. Dembele. And Dembele's given it away. And they need to get tighter. This could be the equaliser. And a good take under duress there. James. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Havertz. Conte has it. And now they have the ball back. Tempele and making the move to the inside. Oh, the threat is there. De Jong. Real chance. And in it goes. The concession of a goal. Not what they needed, but they still hold the cards. Well, it's been coming, hasn't it? They now need to refocus here. So, a level contest. 1-1. James on the ball Zakaria Chilwell Conte now Zakaria Rhys James and we will have just one additional minute using space on the opposite flank now that is that for the first half here So the beginning of the second half here in West London. Christensen. Gabby. Lewandowski now. Robert Lewandowski with an incisive pass. Well, now in a dangerous position. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Well, just couldn't quite control the header. And a disappointing effort in the end. And he was in the right place to intercept. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a vital... Could be! And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Fired over by Usman Dembele. Well, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Zakaria. But he took care of it defensively. A very timely interception. Just had to look a bit lively given the pressure. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Looks like a twisted knee from down here. You can just see him trying out. But at the moment, he's carrying on. Cheers, Jeff. Well, they've lost the ball. Sterling. Well, Barcelona have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have played some really lovely football going forward. But they must now make it count and get themselves in front. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Really classy goalkeeping. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up. Koulibaly. Sterling. 
Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Chance to put them in front. And just making the run a bit too early. Offside as a result. And intercepts again. Conte. Zakaria. Pulisic now. James. Timely intervention. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Jordi Alba. Here's Christensen. Pedri. Rafinha. Pedri. Lewandowski. Alert defending. Breaking at pace. Obama Young. Gabby. Lewandowski now. Promising move from Barcelona. Jordi Alba. Oh, this is looking promising. Pedri. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Obama Young. Now, options are plenty. And Kai Havertz. And back with Havertz. Can he get them in front? What a vital intervention. A sloppy pass. Well, the supporters think it's on. Terrific block. Kunde. This might be ideal for the counter. Can they keep it going? Oh, he's given it away inexplicably. Giving it a try. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Well, is it going to be a productive moment for Barcelona? Corner. And now the delivery. Well, it has come to nothing. Lewandowski. Nicely timed tackle. Well, this match is ebbing away now. And just a reminder, Stuart, if it stays like this, they will be promoted. Well, they've just got to keep their concentration here. They're in such a great position. Mind you, the final whistle can't come soon enough. Well, the Chelsea fans are certainly playing their part here. But can the players respond and find a winner? Five minutes of the 90 still to go, and the teams cannot be separated. Advantage, Barcelona. Well, no advantage in the end, and she'll pull it back for the free kick. And level it is in the waning moments. Can Barcelona change that situation? Keeper's ball every day of the week. the back of that particular challenge will the referee let the matter rest there and the yellow card for that Stuart and he's going to have to be careful now that was a silly challenge chill well well great read there to intercept and the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Conte. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And a yellow card it's going to be, Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. And there goes the final whistle. 
The celebrations can begin in earnest now. Promotion assured. Well, what a great achievement this is. You can just sense the relief out there. Well, I dare say it's going to be a big step up for everyone at the club, but I don't think they'll be complaining about that challenge. Yeah, it's going to be a tough season next year. You're absolutely right, but they don't have to worry about that. They can just enjoy the moment here. Well, the cameras get up close. Very much looking forward to this. Hello and a warm welcome. This is the scene here at the Orange Vélodrome. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's France taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. A chance to whip it in. And a significant block following that cross. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Lucas Hernandez plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Matteo Kovacic in central midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, opting for the short corner. Conte. Firing it towards goal. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one.
And a poor ball. Conte. Now with Benzema. He's in behind. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. An important interception. Coman. Mbappe. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. And plenty of space for this Chelsea attack. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have... Oh, the keeper at fault. Still possibilities. Well, they survived the attack. Nkunku. A very good tackle. So now a corner. And there's the delivery. Well, there's no way to escape the verdict that that was an awful corner. Wesley Fofana. Conte has it. And they have possession again. Rafael Varan. Nkunku has it. Benzema. Pogba has it. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Pulisic. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Paul Pogba. Here's Mbappe. And he's through here. And it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. It'll be interesting to see whether or not Chelsea can articulate an appropriate reply. Rhys James. Conte has it. Now can they open up the defence here? Has a go, and keeping it out. And taken short. Sterling. And it's still on for him. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Well, Chelsea are creating chances, that's for sure. But they trail here because their finishing hasn't been good enough. First things first, they need possession of the ball. No high-quality defending. Well, not giving him any breathing room. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door, as he did then. So nearing the half-time interval and Chelsea facing a deficit. Stuart, what have you made of their first-half performance? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Oh, the threat is there. Real chance. The save was a good one. And he struck the post. Well, that's the end of that for now. Well, Chelsea won't come any closer than that. It really did look like being the equaliser. They were so unlucky there. Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. And a good take under duress there. 
Conte. Here's Kovacic. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Conte. And beating the defender. Body on the line. And so there it is. The first half has come to an end here at the Orange Velodrome. Well, the ball is moving once more. Not enough went to plan for Chelsea in the first half. Can they address what didn't go right? Breaking at pace. Oh, great attacking play. Karim Benzema. Can he make it count? Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Well, making high pressing work for them here. And Kunku. Save, but still a chance. Given away by Chelsea. Good move in the making from France. Can they make the connection here? Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. He has teammates around him. Sterling on the ball, Zakaria. Well, a top notch piece of defensive judgment. And Pulisic has it. Could pull one back here. Christian Pulisic has lost it. Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. Let's just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. Nasty landing on the shoulder for him there, and he's in real discomfort. He's a tough boy, I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. Nkunku. Here's Mbappe. Hernandez. Can he play it in? Conte. Back to Sterling. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. And time for the change now. Applying vigorous pressure. Conte. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Conte. He might yet finish. And far from the ideal cross. Keeper's ball all the way. Just 20 minutes remaining now.
and the challenge halts them in their tracks. Obama Yang, is this the moment? Surely, pivotal moment defensively. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Cross blocked. That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Going short. Coman. The delivery. And a time for cool heads. Ziesch. Well, they could run onto it here. Well, sometimes they come off for you. Sometimes they don't, Stuart. Well, he didn't get the technique right there. And as a result, he mistimes the contact on the ball. Paul Pogba. Now, Rabio. Space afforded him. Pogba. Poor pass. Just ten minutes remaining here. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Conte. Aubameyang. No way through. Aurelien Chouameni. Here's Mbappe. Coman. He could pick out a teammate. Well, not far away from full time. We know, Stuart, don't we, that Chelsea can play much better than this. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor... Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. And a goal! They've cut into the lead! It's not settled yet! Well, here it is again, and just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So the ball is rolling again. Who won the score? What's going to happen next? And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Kunde. And the referee says that is the end of the story. Well, heartbreaking for...
Well, the atmosphere has been building up all day long, and we're almost ready for kickoff here at Stamford Bridge. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And with the new campaign just moments away from getting started, the excitement here is palpable. It's Chelsea up against Bayern Munich. Well, thanks, Derek. Promoted teams often do well at the beginning of a new season and then fall away. But I think they're a good side, so I'm expecting them to have another good campaign and start with a win today. An incisive pass. It could be for Zane. And the keeper's in trouble. Well, the keeper does his job. Well, nice idea, but he didn't quite get enough on it, did he? Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And Golo Conte starts alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. Favouring the short one. Sterling. The Chelsea move still. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, there we have it. The first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time to go here. And disappointingly, straight into the wall. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Mane now sliding in field and not an effort that will live long in the memory well the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance from that sort of distance he should really be hitting the target it was a really poor attempt in the end Mount well timed tackle he's in behind Mateo Kovacic. Promising looking attack. A chance to whip it in. And an effective clearance. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Bayern have given it away. have to think about it too hard Neuer Sterling determined defending now can they make something happen well it came to nothing in the end and it went sailing over the crossbar what a moment he'll want to remember Sané beautifully disguised ball well it really wasn't a great effort was it good pressure high up the pitch Sterling here's Kovacic Kovacic getting in there to intercept attacking possibilities for Chelsea it needs an accurate cross. Well, thumped clear. That's how to rob them of possession. Well, Chelsea have controlled the last 15 minutes and looked a real threat going forward. But they must take one of these chances while they're having this good period that you do sense it's coming. Now can they win back possession and create something else? And then for Bayern. And Bayern will change personnel now. 
Sané. He's in with a chance. He's gone and missed that guilt-edged opportunity. Well, sometimes in these 1v1 scenarios, you have too much time to think about it. He should do better for me, though. Mateo Kovacic. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And taken away. He won the ball. Mane. The ball with Zabitza. It's a good looking ball in behind. Well, that leads to the goal that puts them ahead. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Getting the better of his opponent. Zane. High quality defending. Obama Yang. Can he finish? Oh dear, oh dear. Opportunity squandered, Stuart. Well, what a chance that was for the equaliser. You don't get too many better than that. Opportunity in the wide area. Oh, good looking run. Terrific defending to stop them progressing. Zabica. Cross blocked. An alert piece of defending. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. And the ball is moving again. Bayern Munich in front. But there might still be a few twists and turns before this match is over. Mount. Conte now. Intercepting it intelligently. Conte. They couldn't maintain possession. Aspili Quetta. And Mount. Mount. And he's taken it away. Options in the centre. Conte. Opportunity. Wonderful goalkeeping from Manuel Neuer. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Mateo Kovacic. Mount. This is Thiago Silva. Aspili Quetta. And saved by the keeper. And deciding to go short with this one. Silva. Conte has it. Went in strongly, decisively. Well, as you can see, Bayern have had much less of the ball. 
Well, clean through, I certainly thought. How about the referee? What did she make of it? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Mane. Davies. Opportunity it is. Oh, excellent diving stop. Joshua Kimmich with the corner. Sterling. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. This could level it. And the referee has pointed to the spot. She's given the penalty. A huge opportunity to level matters here. And the referee will take his name as well. Yeah, it was a poor challenge. And the referee is absolutely right to take his name. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Man. An offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Obama Young. Conte has it. Mateo Kovacic. Well, he's lost it. And into the last 20 minutes. And that'll be a Bayern ball. Coman. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Can someone get on the end of this? This might be ideal for the counter. Will they profit from this situation? Obama Yang, well read to win possession back. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Opportunity to deliver the cross. A good and fair challenge. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Kovacic. Let's fly here. Oh, and it goes! The equaliser! Who saw that coming? Down to ten men, but undeterred. Well, let's take another look, because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it, he couldn't have hit that any better. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Substitution for Chelsea. Still level, but Chelsea on the attack, near the end. Mount and he's taken it away. Coman and the counter looks on here. Options available. 
Mane must take the lead here, and they do. And with so little time left, that will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Effective pressure to regain possession. Mount. A very timely interception. In with a chance. Surely, oh dear, oh dear, the goal was at his mercy. Tame effort. Mount. Well, these Chelsea players need to step it up here because their fans have been brilliant. Can they get this equaliser? Mane. Now with Zani. That's all they can conjure for now. And the referee says that is that, and no points. Soy la tierra, la sangre, los sueños, las ganas, el hambre, la luz en los ojos de mi santa madre. Hecho de barro, de rama, de viento, de hueche, de carne, el sol cae en mi brazo por la tarde. Si preguntan quién soy, soy mi tierra, cultivo de gobierno, de tafa, de guerra. Soy el hornero mostrando la sala, la vida, la muerte, la pluma y la bala, la soledad del rico, el sueño del pobre. La verdad de que el gobierno no se esconde, las huellas perdidas, el cuándo y el dónde, ninguna dictadura va a poder borrar mi nombre. Porque al futuro vengo de Tierra Santa, latinoamericano llora, canta. Tengo la sonrisa celeste y blanca, si subo la mirada, la luna se levanta, yo voy al futuro, vengo de Tierra Santa. Such a shit game, you can't eat even score or shoot properly. And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Real Madrid. Oh, Chiesa! Can they slot it home? And problem solved for now. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferlo Mendy in the fullback positions. Vinicius Jr. starts with Rodrigo out wide. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczesny begins in goal. Paul Pogba plays alongside Adrian Radio in the centre of the park. And up front, Federico Chiesa starts alongside Moise Keane. And the danger cleared. What can Real do from this position? But into the keeper's gloves. The Bianconeri have given us away. Federico Valverde. Can he finish? Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Short corner it is. And Benzema away from the touchline. Good looking cross. Thumped clear. Vinicius Junior. 
And with that, the attack fizzles out. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Now Paul Pogba. Pogba! But the keeper takes charge, and it was pretty straightforward. Federico Valverde. And he read it superbly. Textbook defending inside the box. Benzema. Weston McKenney has given it straight to the opposition. Modric. Real Madrid have given it away. Radio. And a good take under duress there. And coolly done despite the mounting pressure. Federico Chiesa. Vinicius Junior. And he takes on the shot. Oh, and nearly on target. Not quite, though. Yeah, very nearly, but the goalkeeper had it covered. It wasn't really a great effort. A really intense pressure applied. Good movement. Chiesa. The ball with Luka Modric. Not a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Gives it a go. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Pogba! Well, here it is again, and wow, just take a look at this. He's absolutely loud this one. What a strike that is from distance. So the action continues. Will there be a quick response from Real? Federico Valverde. Modric. Modric. Alert defending. Valverde has eyes for goal. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly think so. The clearance wasn't decisive. And a fine stop. It's one corner after another. Fine work from Juve to win back possession. And 
plenty of room in the wide area. Well, shielding the ball admirably. Carvajal being hounded. And it'll be a throw in for Juve. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Vinicius. This could be the equaliser. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul, is he? And the keeper denies them from the spot. And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. So back in business, the ball moving again, and Real with a bit of work ahead of them. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. High quality defending. Space galore for Juventus. Well, give us your critique, Stuart, on Karim Benzema. Will he be a bit disappointed with himself? Well, he's not had a good first, has he? He's lacked energy, didn't get on the ball enough, and at times looked off the pace. Mind you, that could apply to the whole team. They need to improve in the second half to turn things around. Benzema, he's in here. And a goal! The keeper couldn't stop it. Real Madrid on turns. Well, here it is. 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. So, a level contest. 1-1. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Aidan Azar. And now here's Aiden Azar, and foiled by the post. And winning it back. Well, very effective play in possession. Must take the lead here, and they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. Not exactly what Juve wanted. They've conceded a goal. Now the onus is on them to respond. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. That is how to apply the pressure. Now we have 30 minutes to go. Real Madrid have given it away. Moise Keane. Spot on with that tackle. Benzema. Rodrigo, and can they create something? Over the touchline for what will be a Real Madrid throw. Modric, well the fans really want him to shoot. 
Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Chiesa. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Carvajal. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Carvajal. Here's Modric. And he's broken free. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Federico Chiesa. Well, it's not quite in the books yet, but almost for Real Madrid as they try to see it out. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football and had the better individuals. Can they now just see this through? Not long left. Moise Keane. Could be. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And the opportunity goes a-begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. Oh, he's got to be disappointed with that pass. Can he find the net? And the keeper more than equal to it. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. And over it comes. What an absolute waste of a corner. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Juventus. McKenney. Bodies forward and the break looks on. All hands on deck. It's still alive. And problem solved for now. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. This could be it! Oh, a stellar piece of defending. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. And a Juventus personnel change here. Moving it forward. Benzema must score! Well, relying on the goalkeeper. Well, there's not long left now, but that just about keeps the minute. But he's gone short with it. Benzema. Here's Vinicius Jr. Hazard. Now just the tackle that was needed. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Oh, goodness, not the best of challenges. Now then, what's the referee going to do here? On the attack in the closing phase. He's got acres of space. How about this for drama? And that is going to be all for this game. Well, we were treated to goals, but no...
It is true to say there's no love lost between these two sides, Real Madrid and Barcelona. And today they find themselves on a collision course here at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position. Sitting alongside me, ready to provide expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, it's a privilege to be here. Well, it certainly is, Derek. This is a bitter rivalry between two of Europe's best, and I just can't wait for this one. It should be an absolute classic. Dembele. Here's Rafinha. Able to skip past his man. It's a perfect challenge. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferlo Mendy in the fullback positions. Luka Modric plays alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. Good technique displayed. Wonderful chance. Oh, it's an unbelievable save by Courtois. Fired over by Usman Dembele. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Mark andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Hector Bellerin starts with Jordi Alba in the fullback positions. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Depay. Eder Militao. And Valverde. Rudiger. Hazar has it. Benzema. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Oh, the short corner routine. Vinicius Jr. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Bellerin did well to win the ball back Hazard Mendy has it good looking sequence superbly read and executed look at Modric can he put them in front yes is the emphatic answer and you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. So the match is restarted. 1-0 here. Committed challenge. The pie. No mistake from the keeper. Will it be punished? This could be the equaliser. The important. And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now let's see if they can level it up. And this for 1 1. In it goes. Coley converts it. So back underway. One goal apiece here. This attack looks highly promising. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Barcelona, free kick. It'll be here. Excellent defending. Mendy. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Not a great pass. 
Hazard. Now with Benzema. He's in behind. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Dembele. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Federico Valverde. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. De Jong went in strongly, decisively. Now options are plenty. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Well, no stopping him. Look at Modric. Benzema! Well, what an opportunity squandered. Far too easy for the keeper. Well, as you can see from those stats, Real have controlled much of the game. But unless they start taking one or two of these chances, they might come away from this game very disappointed. Oh, well, they might score here, Stuart. Well, you might say he was unlucky. Denied by the post. Goal kick. Aiden Azar. He's going forward with authority here. Benzema. Oh, big opportunity. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Into the second half then, here at the Bernabeu. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. So the ball rolling again. Can Barca bite back here? find themselves in a position of menace. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? They need to get bodies back. Surely the equaliser. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Applying vigorous pressure. Memphis Depay! Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Rudiger. Mendy has it. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? He landed really awkwardly on his shoulder there and he's in some discomfort. But he's a tough cookie. I think he'll stay out there. Cheers, Jeff. Mendy. Mendy. Azar. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Dembele. The free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Can he take the chance? Dembele. Wonderful chance. It's still alive. 
And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Counter attacking very much an option. Well, it came to nothing in the end. But what can they do to stop him running at them? And able to get a body in the way. Now, let's see what they can do here. Benzema. Modric. Look at Modric. And a goal to seal the hat trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Hello and welcome to the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It is Manchester City facing Real Madrid. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. be able to get in now and a goal right off the bat no wonder they're jumping for joy so Real restart the game disappointed to have conceded can they find an equaliser Perfectly positioned to take it away. Laporte. Joao Cancelo. Gundogan. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Aiden Azar. Oh, good vision. Just can't get it past him. And a short corner, let's see. 
Azar. And a fine tackle. Gundogan. Karim Benzema. A real opening now. It's in the net, thanks to Karim Benzema. Back underway, level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Karim Benzema. A reminder, tickets for the next game are available All with Rodri. after today's game. Walker. De Bruyne now. And it's a quality pass. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Federico Valverde and taking it away Rodri Joao Cancelo can he put it in? a goal! that's two for him today they simply can't stop him no wonder Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and Haaland wasn't going to miss that one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. What a well-constructed goal. Plenty of support here. A very effective challenge put in. Valverde. And now here's Aiden Azar. And they stopped them in their tracks. And under pressure, that was a fine play. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Asking a lot to score from there. Goalkeeper's ball. Modric. Vinicius Jr. It's the threaded Azar pass. Well, I must say, that goes down as a very disappointing effort. Well, City haven't bossed the possession, as you can see, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. to worry about here breaking at pace do they have the guile to open up the defence well not to be in terms of the counter attack and that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line Gundogan Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. From down here, it looks as though he landed actually on top of his elbow. That's why he's in so much discomfort, and that's why, of course, the bench are so concerned. Cheers, Jeff. And a chance for him on the flank. Into the middle from Bernardo Silva. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. An important interception.
The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. De Bruyne on to Holland. Well, able to close down the shot. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Vinicius Junior. Aidan Azar. And so the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the Etihad. Well, you have to say Erling Haaland has been at his ex... So the ball rolling again, and Real left with a real mountain to climb in the second half. Luka Modric. Could reduce the deficit. Can they stop it going in? Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Really nice ball. Holland showing a real will to win the ball. Vinicius Junior. And return to Benzema. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. And straight out of play by the goalkeeper and it'll be a throw in he has teammates around him well it came to nothing in the end bodies forward and the break looks on defenders need to cover is it going to be really sound defending Oh, a clinical counter-attack, and so close to a goal. Well, that's exactly what they're looking to do. Force the turnover and then break at pace. So close to a very good goal. Real Madrid doing well to regain possession here. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Rodrigo. Now with Benzema. Really inventive stuff from Real here. A fine reading of the situation. And into the last 30 minutes now. Can they hit on the break? Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, a tremendous block. So the corner played into the box. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Vinicius Junior. In behind for him to chase. And now in a dangerous position. Looking for the angle. A wonderful intervention. Teammates available. Well, visionary passing. He might profit from here, you know. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance.
Hello, everyone. Well, here's something we say every day of the week, don't we? It's a beautiful day for football in Manchester at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder, Stuart Robson. And with that, that surely, and begging to be put away. And the keeper nowhere to be found, not that he's complaining. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Hazard. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Chance here. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Look at Modric. Aiden Azar in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. They've regained possession. Karim Benzema and Valverde. An important interception. afforded him will he find the net Benzema well the keeper had a lot to do well it's a great piece of goalkeeping so quick off his line and taking it away Vinicius Junior Vinicius well it wasn't a simple save to make and well, they're going for the short one and now here's Aiden Azar. Has eyes for goal. Oh, he's missed the chance to extend their advantage. Well, it was... And the keeper's given it away inexcusably. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Phil Foden. Holland. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Karim Benzema just needs to keep his composure. And up for grabs off the keeper. And there it is! A goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Teammates available. Can he take advantage? Well, he had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Joao Cancelo. Slipshot passing. Well, as you can see, Real Madrid have controlled the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. looking pass Vinicius Junior Hazard top notch defending but the chance still there unable to get himself back onside here well he was always going to be offside that was the wrong option he's given it straight to the opposition Doesn't want to lose his cool here. Federico Valverde. The ball with Luka Modric. And the pass could do damage. Well, no way through. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Modric.
Here's Carvajal. Vinicius. Modric. Kevin De Bruyne. Well, it looks as though they might be in just for a second or two. Foden. Here's Valverde. Not a bad pass it was. Mendy. Is it going to be? Well, a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. De Bruyne. A move of promise on the flank. Benzema. On the ball, Rudiger. Promising sequence. And a chance for Aiden Azar. Oh, a vital piece of last ditch defending. And there we have it. That brings to an end the first half here at the Etihad. Well, Karim Benzema has been a top striker for so long. It really shouldn't surprise us that he's excelling in this match, Stuart. Yeah, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He looks such a threat every time he gets the ball. And of course, he scored a very good goal. And the ball rolling again after what was a dazzling first 45 from Real. Can they repeat that in the second half? And all the way through it goes to the goalkeeper. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Mendy. Timely intervention. Phil Foden. Carvajal. Azar on the ball. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Azar. Long distance effort. Keeper did his job. De Bruyne Holland well it wasn't a simple save to make well could this be the turning point the fans are certainly hoping so could pull one back here keeper getting the touch Aiden Azar That's useful play. And options in the centre. Giving it a try. 
Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Given away by City. Eder Militao. The ball with Luka Modric. Oh, super piece of play. Foden. Now, oh, keeper in control. And a change in the opening for City. And over it comes. Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. And he's made headway. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, on they go again. And Real very much in control. Federico Valverde. Aldrich. Now Azar. Oh, surely. Well, the challenge was clean, but the danger not clear. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. Manuel Akanji. And intercepts again. Really good high press. Given away by Manchester City once more. Can he find the right pass? Modric. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Counter-attacking very much an option. Modric. On to Benzema. And return to Azar. Has a go. Oh, he saved it well. Now we're inside. And a chance for Aiden Azar. Splendid defending. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. And effectively parried away by the keeper. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Oh, lovely ball. Now, options are plenty. Gives it a go. Putting his body on the line. Great pressure to win the ball back. Vinicius. Now with Benzema. Takes the shot. Oh, a superb save. And Manchester City will go to their bench. A corner from Modric. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. There will be one minute added on at the end. And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid. Their fans are going to be happy with this.